Good evening and welcome to our midweek worship service in this first week of Advent. Tonight, we are going to get to see a skit by the Volk family that I am so excited to share with you that relates with this week's candle of hope in our scripture reading of waiting, which we're going to see in just a moment as Camille Grothier is going to share tonight's scripture reading with us. And after the skit, we're going to bring in the national church as well and share a prayer together that other churches all across the United Church of Christ are also sharing. So welcome. Take a deep breath. Let it out and let yourself be fully present in this place. Let us hear tonight's scripture reading. This reading is from Isaiah, chapter 64, verses 1 through 4. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down, that the mountains would shake before you. As fire kindles the brushwood, and the fire makes water boil, make your name known to your adversaries, and let the nations tremble before you. When you did awesome things that we could not have expected, you came down, and the mountains quaked in your presence. From the ages past, no ear has ever heard, no eye has ever seen any God but you, intervening for those who wait for you. So you heard the scripture reading. Are you ready now for the story? Let's hear tonight's story. A story on waiting and hope. What are you doing? Waiting. But you're just sitting there staring at the nativity set. I'm waiting. Do you want to go do something? No, I'm waiting. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for Christmas. Why are you waiting for Christmas by sitting and staring at the nativity set? Because when Jesus shows up, Christmas will come, and I'm going to be the first one to know about it. But it's only the first week of Advent, and there's four more weeks until Christmas is here. I know, but I read in the Gospel of Mark that told his disciples, no one knows the day, the hour, not even the angels in heaven. So just in case Christmas comes early this year, I'm going to be the, I'm going to be right here to wait and watch. What are you gonna do while you're waiting? Nothing. I'm going to sit here and wait. That verse is from Mark chapter 13, and in it, Jesus goes on to say, Keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come. I don't think that keep alert means that you will stand around and watch for Jesus to just show up. What do you mean? Well, think about it. When you're playing soccer and you're told to be alert, you don't just stand there and wait for someone to kick you the ball so you can make a goal. No, when I'm playing soccer, I'm alert, watching other players, listening to my coach, and watching where the ball is going. Exactly. Right now you are just sitting and staring at the, the nativity set. And we will put up Mary and Joseph when Christmas comes. But Jesus can show up anywhere. Keeping alert means watching for Jesus. Keeping alert isn't about standing in one place. It's about living our daily lives and expecting Christmas to show up at any time, anywhere. What do you mean, expecting Christmas to show up anywhere? Isn't Christmas just when Jesus is born? Christmas is a celebration of God's love breaking into the world in a new way. The world did not expect Jesus to show up as a little baby born in a barn, but God did. That's why during Advent, we do things to get into the spirit of Christmas. We set up the nativity set, we bake cookies, we go Christmas caroling, and we read the Christmas story again to celebrate Jesus' birth and prepare our hearts to receive God's love with others waiting during the season of Advent. This is active waiting. Active waiting? So during Advent, I shouldn't just stand around and wait for Christmas to come. Instead, I should find ways to celebrate Jesus and be on the lookout for God? Exactly. God's love is always breaking into the world in new ways. 
this Advent, keep alert and wait by looking for new ways to care for and love others. Then we will most certainly be one of the first people to know when Christmas begins. That ends tonight's story. You can join us next week for the next story. But first, let us join our hearts and minds together in prayer. Let us pray. Great spirit of hope, holiest one of many names, the one we call God, we lift our hearts to you in prayer. Please give us patience as we wait for your love to flow into the world through the advent of the Christ child. Help us to live lives of hopefulness and to lift our eyes to see your light in the most unlikely people and places. Hope has been created for times like these. Please hear our prayer for those who travel alone, those who are homeless, or those who flee violence or war. We lift in prayer those who are ill or suffering, those who grieve the loss of loved ones, and those who feel abandoned simply because of who they love. Please forgive us when we fail to be the spark of your love that ignites hope. We ask that you fill us with your hope and give us courage and strength for the labors ahead. Keep our minds focused on your promise, our mouths filled with your praise, and our hands and feet occupied in the care for your people. In your most holy name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in worship during the season of Advent. If you don't yet have an Advent wreath at home, I invite you to make one and to follow us throughout the Advent season, joining us for worship on Wednesday nights and Sunday mornings and on Christmas Eve. All of our services will be online only in this season as we hold each other in prayers throughout this pandemic. But we will not stop celebrating. We will never stop worshiping. And your love and your prayers can be felt all over. So may you join in with us with this active waiting, the lively waiting, the life that flows through you. And as you go about the rest of your week, may you be blessed and may you be a blessing. Oh, come, little children, oh, come, one and all. Oh, come to the manger in Bethlehem's stone. There meekly he lieth, the heavenly child, so poor and so humble, so sweet and so mild. The hay is his pillow, the manger. Now, boy.